Yeah, I just saw this uh, when I was browsing around my YouTube subscriptions. And I was going to post another video before this. I decided to uh, post this video because this kind of demanded my uh, attention. Now, uh, the Tone King, or as he's known on YouTube as uh, capital L and then lowercase msjr, has been uh, around on YouTube for a while. And uh, he's been giving a lot of uh, really good uh, guitar gear reviews, most notably his uh, amp shootouts and uh, things of that nature. And uh, all of a sudden he's being sued by this company we never even heard of for infringing on the name. And, I don't know, to be honest, the Tone King is kind of, well, it's not really a generic, but it's a very uh, kind of general term. I mean, what, if he was going to be called, like, the Turnip King, then some other Turnip King will sue him? I mean, come on. And if anything, you know, they, the Tone King Amplification Company, I mean, they really could have turned this into an excellent PR move. They could have, you know, sent him, like, a free little combo amp. I went on their website. They, uh, you can find it at uh, ToneKing.com. And you can find the Tone King's website at TheToneKing.com. Anyway, I went on the, their website, and they have, like, a... They're basically, like, a boutique amp company. They have, like, very low-power amps and things like that. And, uh... They really could have turned this into a good PR move by sending him, like, a... Like, a sample combo amp or something, and it would have been kind of cool, because, you know, they're called Tone King, and he's called Tone King, and... It really could have worked out. I think it would have been fun. But, no. They had to pull a dick move and... Say, you know, oh, he's copying us. Let's... Put a cease and desist letter. Uh, is this really how you spend your legal money? I mean, the the Tone King is not really making any money from doing these videos. I mean, honestly. I mean, granted, he is getting sent gear and stuff, but it's not for a monetary gain. So, I mean, you're not really losing dollars just because he's called the Tone King and you happen to sell amps called Tone King. If anything, you know, people that are searching for him will find you and may or may not buy your product or suggest them to the Tone King and he'll do like a review and it'll be kind of cool. So, um, what I'm suggesting to uh, Tone King Amplification, I'm uh, suggesting that you uh, dismiss your claim just because in this day and age, you can't go around suing people as much as you could as a company anymore, especially if you're a small company. I mean, even big companies get a lot of flack for, uh, you know, suing people for copying their name even ever so slightly. And, you know, heck, if, you know, Joe Satriani can drop his claim against Coldplay for them copying one of his songs, I mean, certainly you can let this pass. And if anything, you know, send him like a, a free little combo amp or something that you can do a review on just to kind of patch things up, you know. And, you know, I'm just, I'm basically making this video in support of the Tone King and uh, hoping that he comes back strong and uh, does more reviews because I'm, I'm really looking forward to him. And, uh, yeah, uh, this is Andy San signing off for now. You can find the uh, the Tone King at his website, www.thetoneking.com. And uh, I suggest uh, to my viewers to contact um, the Tone King Amplification Company. But don't be mean. Don't be mean and nasty. Be really reasonable about this, or else we'll just dismiss your claim. And uh, yeah, I suggest that you send them some emails outlining, you know, how the Tone King has helped you and how this frivolous lawsuit is simply that, frivolous. So, uh, this is Andy San, signing off for now. Wishing you guys the best day. Stay strong, Tone King. Stay strong.